my first big slide with XZ. Hi, I am XZ. I like to go to the playground. There is lots of fun to have at the playground. I like to go on the slides. Today, I went on the big slide. The big slide is lots of fun. Big slides can look scary, but they are fun. You just have to try. Have you ever tried something new and learned it's fun? And now, XZ's first time seeing fire. Wow! XZ exclaims. XZ is surprised. He has never seen fire this close before. Mama XZ lit a candle, then put it on the table. This caught the attention of XZ and Papa XZ. You see the flame? Papa XZ asks XZ. Da! XZ says. Da means yes in Russian. XZ watches the fire's flame. He steps closer. He stretches tall on his tippy toes, then reaches long with his arm. XZ feels the warmth and heat of the fire. Be careful, Papa XZ warns XZ. The fire is hot. We can watch, but do not touch it, okay? Okay, Papa, XZ says. Papa XZ shows XZ how to keep a safe distance from the candle. Have you seen fire before, XZ? Papa XZ asks XZ. No, Papa, XZ replies. Oh, well, it certainly is something special, isn't it? Papa asks. Da, XZ answers. The XZ family sets the table for dinner and enjoys a meal by candlelight. XZ and his family eat, smiling as the flame twinkles in their eyes. XZ's first day of school. Today is XZ's first day of school. XZ is excited and ready to go. Everyone loads up in their car seats for the trip. Papa XZ, Mama XZ, and baby brother XZ are prepared. They talk about school on their ride there. All together, they walk down the hallway to XZ's classroom, wearing XZ family masks and T-shirts. Mama XZ helps XZ find his seat and put his backpack away, while baby brother XZ and Papa XZ are smiling and watching. XZ wanted his brother to go with him, but baby brother XZ is still too small for now. The XZ family smiled as they watched XZ looking cool and getting comfortable in class. They wanted to stay all day if they could, but they couldn't. At first, when XZ realized Mama XZ and Papa XZ were not there anymore, she was concerned. Then XZ realized they will be back soon. XZ was able to finish all of his schoolwork. He drew pictures. He counted numbers, he learned about animals, and he wrote his name on all of his papers. One of XZ's teachers forgot to write his full name. XZ had to teach his teacher his name has both the X and the Z. Now when he writes his name in school, it's correct. What is something that you have done recently that made you feel proud? Tell us about a time when you had to speak up for yourself. Don't forget to email us at thexzfamily at gmail.com and subscribe at youtube.com forward slash xzfamily. See you next time. XZ and Mama XZ's Big Slide Adventure It is a sunny summer day. The breeze is blowing and the trees are swaying. Mama XZ is sitting with XZ at the top of Twin Slides, smiling. They are having a competition. Who will win the race? They are ready to race down the slide at the count of three. Earlier, XZ was playing with his friend Liam on the slide, but they had to leave 
because it's dinner time. Mama XZ noticed that XZ started to look a little worried about his friend. Mama XZ knew exactly how to fix this. Before another moment could pass, Mama XZ took him by the hand. They ran up the stairs together to the top of the twin slides. They looked across the playground to Papa XZ. While holding XZ's little brother in his arms, Papa XZ smiled back at them. Excitement in his eyes as he looked on, enthusiastic about seeing the joy return to XZ's face. What keeps the joy on your face? Email the XZ family at gmail.com. Hello, I'm XZ. Send me an email at the XZ family at gmail.com and make sure you subscribe and visit every week. Welcome to Story Time with the XZ family. And now, my first candle with XZ. Hi, I am XZ. Today, I saw my very first candle. Mama and Papa lit the candle, and I was excited. I had never seen fire before. Papa showed me the candle's wick. The wick holds the fire's flame. The flame is small, but it burns bright and hot. I felt the warmth from the flame on my hand, but we have to be careful. Today I learned how to be more careful near fire. I also learned that candles can smell so good as this one. See you next time. And now, learning basketball with XZ. Hi, I'm XZ. I'm learning the basics of basketball. Do you know how to play basketball? My favorite thing is to dunk it. Can you dunk the basketball too? Today, I'm learning how to pass the ball. There are different types of passes, like the bounce pass and the chest pass. When I pass the ball to Papa, he catches it. It's important to catch the pass, whether it is a bounce pass or a chest pass. Papa shoots the ball and he says, he shoots, he scores. Then you hear swish as the ball swishes through the net. Papa tells me these are just the basics of basketball. I like playing basketball with Papa. It's lots of fun. And now, my first superstar with XZ. Hello, XZ family and friends. It's me, XZ. Today, I want to show you my XZ superstars. XZ superstars are super special people who set exceptional examples for us. Mama and Papa are my first superstars, but who are your XZ superstars? XZ's COVID Chronicles Part 3 Slides and playing outside are on XZ's mind. Today, all the parks are closed, and other parts of the city are also closing down. The news is reporting COVID-19 has become a global pandemic. Mama, where did pandemic come from? XC asked Mama XC. This question surprised Mama XC. She took a minute and gathered her thoughts. Then she said, Well, XC, they say it came from a different country. It all started with very few sick people and grew to hundreds of thousands of sick people. XC looked curious. He thought for a second. Mama, when will this pandemic go away? Will the playgrounds be open? Can we go to basketball classes soon? 
can we go to theme parks again? Mama XC didn't have a good answer for XC. She looked at XC, patted his soft hair and replied, Pandemic will go away one day, my baby. But now we need to appreciate and adapt to this new world where everyone keeps their distance, wears masks and gloves, and spends most of the day at home. XC looked sad for a minute, but then got distracted watching a little squirrel running across the street. XC liked the new world even though he felt sad at times. Mama XC and Papa XC just found out that they will be working from home along with many others. XC loved this idea. He enjoys spending his time with Mama XC and Papa XC. This means that he can see them more often and play with them all day. How did you manage the pandemic? Did your parents work from home too? Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and tell us your story. Don't forget to check out our first book on Amazon, COVID Chronicles Part 1. See you next week, everyone! XC's Imagination Igloo, Part 1 Once upon a time, there was something called an Imagination Igloo, Papa XC said, telling the story to XC and Mama XC. Papa XC tells them all about the Imagination Igloo and how it can be a special place, just for you, full of make-believe and wonder, where you can be safe and free to imagine any dream you can think of. XC thinks to himself, then says, But Papa, I don't have an igloo. Papa XC smiles. But look around, XC, he says. Aren't we in an igloo? Mama XC and Papa XC are teaching XZ how to use his imagination. Do you know how to use your imagination? And now, Zoe the butterfly. Zoe the butterfly likes to fly and flutter. She has wings to help her float and glide. Zoe's wings are how she flies. Zoe flies high and Zoe flies low. Zoe likes it when it is warm outside. When it is too cold outside, Zoe cannot use her wings to fly. In the summer, there are more butterflies than in the winter. One of Zoe the butterfly's best friends is Anita the cheetah. They both like to travel. Zoe the butterfly flutters high above in the sky, while Anita the cheetah runs fast down below on the ground. Today they are hanging out and playing together. What do you like to do when you hang out and play with friends? Email us the XZ family at gmail.com. See you next week. Walk Shoes with the XZ family. It's time for Walk Shoes. XZ's favorite part of the day is always Walk Shoes. But what is Walk Shoes, you might ask? Walk Shoes is what baby XZ used to say when he wanted to take a walk outside with his parents. Two of his very first words were walk and shoes. Can't go for a walk without your shoes. And you don't need your shoes unless you're going for a walk. XZ loves to run through the big fields of grass, exploring the trees and hills. He always finds parts of a tree that resembles Forky. Whether it's a twig, stick, or branch, XZ will find Forky. Now his new pal will tag along with him for the adventure. XZ is exploring Snowy Mountain. What about you? What do you like to explore when you walk shoes? Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Email us at the XZ family at gmail.com. See you next week.
How to do math with XZ and friends. Hi, I'm XZ. Do you know how to do math? I'm learning how to do duplicates and I want to show you some. Can I show you how to do some of the cool math I'm learning? Yes? Good. First, these are called duplicates. They're called duplicates because we're adding the same number twice. Like 2 plus 2 or 5 plus 5. Those are duplicates. So, do you know the answer to 2 plus 2? I'll give you a second to think about it. The answer is 4. What about 1 plus 1? Do you know the answer for 1 plus 1? Hmm, after I tell you the answer, I want to show you how I like to figure it out. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, let me show you a cool story I tell myself any time I need to figure out simple math like 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 2. Okay, first, I imagine my friends from Sesame Street. If Cookie Monster is all by himself eating cookies, then Elmo joins him. Now there are two friends. That's 1 plus 1. If Bert and Ernie are singing songs together, then Big Bird and Grover join them and sing along. How many friends are there singing? That's right, four. Do you want to practice math with your favorite friends? Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and share your story. Please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Then you won't miss out on any of our new stories. Okay, see you next week, everyone. XZ's first smoothie. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Storytime. XZ is going to try a smoothie today. This will be XZ's first smoothie. Have you ever tried a smoothie before? Smoothies can be good for you. XZ's first smoothie tastes like strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. XZ likes strawberries. XZ likes his smoothie. XZ says, Mmm, wow, it's a tasty smoothie. He drinks it fast and enjoys every sip of it. But suddenly, he feels very cold and uncomfortable. He looks to his parents for backup. Papa XZ and Mama XZ explain to XZ that smoothies are cold. Drinking cold smoothies too fast can make you feel cold. You might feel like you ate too much after drinking really fast, especially when you are not used to drinking cold drinks like this. It is your first smoothie after all. XZ listens to his parents. He puts his smoothie down after thinking about it. XZ plays with his little brother for a few minutes then runs back to take a few more sips. He goes back and forth between playing and smoothie until the smoothie is all gone. He feels much better now. He still enjoys this tasty cold drink and also feels comfortable and warm. XZ now understands the secret to smart smoothie drinking. XZ tells all his friends at school about his amazing smoothie experience. He teaches everyone how to drink smoothies and enjoy it. XZ's friends are excited and ready to get their smoothies after school too. But now it's time to focus on new sight words and counting to 20. Thank you for listening all about XZ's first smoothie and joining us for story time. Now it's your turn. Email or comment below. Tell us about your first smoothie experience, your favorite flavor for smoothies, or just your favorite smoothie story in general. Be first and get an opportunity to be highlighted in our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. See you soon, everyone. Welcome to Storytime! And now, 
XZ's Puzzle Tussle. From XZ's Imagination Igloo. I'm not one for a puzzle tussle, I must say, said the puzzle. But today, this puzzle's puzzle muscle seems to be kerfuffled, the puzzle exclaimed. XZ looked at the puzzling puzzle. The puzzle, who was all of a sudden, like the snap of a button, happened to butt in appearing here in the veneer in front of them. And it was not clear quite what it meant as to why this guy would interfere. A mild interference, nonetheless, I must confess. And as this puzzling puzzle's thesis began crumbling to pieces, one by one, nothing could be done. Can you help me help me? asked the puzzling puzzle. We will help you, XZ shouted. After seeing this series of unfortunate events tumbling and crumbling before them, XZ thought to himself, Hmm, how can I help? Then, when the tussle was muffled, XZ put the puzzle back together. The End Thank you for joining us for XZ's Weekly Storytime. The XZ Family is a fictional children's series about young XZ. Follow XZ along his adventures and journeys. Learn and explore. Please consider joining the XZ Family for exclusive benefits. Learn how to count with the XZ family. Welcome to the XZ family school of wonder. Today we are learning how to count. Do you know how to count numbers? XZ knows how to count to 100 by himself. But first, let's practice counting to 10. Will you help us count to 10? Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! We did it! We did it! We counted to ten. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Okay, here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Yes, we did it again. Good job, everyone. Now, all we need to do is to keep practicing every day. The more you practice counting, the better you will be at counting. You will easily be able to count anything you want to. For example, you can count your stuffed animals and all of your books. You can count your blocks or your socks. And if you don't have anything to count, you can even count the rocks. After you get really good at counting, you can teach your friends how to count as well. Is there anything else you like to count? Maybe there's something you've always wanted to count, and now you know how. Email us at thexcfamily at gmail.com and tell us all about it. Share your ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family. Until we see you next time! Hi, and welcome to Storytime with the XZ family. I'm XZ. Today, I want to show you how to practice your United States capitals. I know all of the USA capitals by heart. And you can too. It's not easy to memorize all 50 of the state capitals, but I promise it isn't impossible. And if I can do it, I believe you can too. It's far from impossible, especially if it's a goal of yours. Before I share one of my most important secret tips for learning, make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of our new weekly videos. 
Make sure you like the video, and if it helps you, make sure to pass it around to your friends and family. Okay? Thanks. Now, one of my most important secret tips about learning anything, but especially things you want to memorize, is word association and practicing weak spots. That's how I learned all of the state capitals. First, I learned the ones that stood out to me. Now, every day during bath time, Papa and Mama will quiz me on all of the capitals that are in the United States of America. It's a huge, big country, isn't it? Have you seen the map? I like to look at the map and learn where the states and capitals are. When I first started, I would only learn the names, but now I know where many of them are, and soon. I will know them all by location because I will keep practicing every day. Are you ready to practice daily to learn new things? Let's do it. Let's practice a few state capitals now. What's the capital of Colorado? It's Denver. That's right. What about the capital of Hawaii? It's Honolulu. Good. And the capital of New York, it is Albany. That's right. Great job! Thank you for joining us today for story time. See you next week and keep practicing. Xzee's happy day takeover. Today, Xzee is having a happy day takeover. Sometimes happy days just can't help but to take over. You know what I mean. Maybe this has happened to you too. But why exactly is XC having a happy day takeover today? You might ask. Well, stay tuned for story time with the XC family so you can hear all about it. But first, I want to tell you about XC's COVID Chronicles. Part One: The Book. It's available right now on Amazon. Have you ever ordered anything on Amazon? It's easy, convenient, and super fast. You should order the book right now, and it will be there in no time. And ask us about how to get five dollars back if you do. Thanks so much. And now, story time. Today's story is called Xzee's Happy Day Takeover, and wow, was it a takeover! There was uncontrollable happiness all over, and nothing could stop the Xzee family from enjoying their day. Happiness was taking over everything. The Xzee family was seen strolling through the park and the nearby shops, smiling and laughing. It was clear they were happy. But what makes it a takeover? Well, a takeover is about competition. When there are two opposing sides, if one side can overwhelm the opponent, it is considered a takeover. Well, today the XC family is letting happiness take over. No matter what else is going on in your life, you can do this too. Sometimes it is easy to forget to focus on things. We should be grateful and happy for, but when we stop and think about them, it is not difficult to be appreciative. And today, appreciation is at an all-time high, and there are happiness takeovers happening all over. It's spreading. Do you feel it? I know I do. Thanks for joining us today for story time. Go ahead and email us right now, so you can tell us. All about the time when you let happiness take over too. By joining our email list, you won't have to worry that you miss any updates about your favorite new stories from the XC family. For a limited time, you could win a free book or a free T-shirt from the XC family. Act now while supplies last. Go ahead. I know you want to. We are waiting for you. Click it. And don't forget to ask about your free five dollars from Cash App for becoming one of the two hundred thousand. Check out the description for even more details 
and cool ways to contact us and stay connected. Thanks again. Until next time. Later.